San Diego County is expected to move into the red tier today, allowing restaurants to offer indoor dining at a limited capacity. Oh, Allie Wagner's at one of those restaurants on Harbor Island where there could be people sitting next to her. Hey, Allie, how you doing? Good morning, Allie. Uh, yeah, you know what? There could be people sitting next to you very soon. And I have Chef Deb Scott, who is here with us this morning. First, good morning. Good morning, Allie. How are you? Doing well. Great. So tell me, what does this possibility of moving into the red tier, what does this mean for you, Costera, some of the other restaurants that you're around town? What a roller coaster, huh? Um, you know, we're, we're not, not to act like we're not appreciative. We are appreciative of getting back into the red, and hopefully we'll get a word today. But, you know, in the, in the long scheme of things, and for my friends that are really suffering out there, our big questions are, A, when do we get back to the, what do they call it, the orange, which would be 50%. And then from there, what does green look like? How, we haven't even heard the word green. We don't even know what we need to achieve to get there. So... I really feel like, you know, come on, Governor, we need some information. We need some definition of what we need to do to get to that next level. And we need to comply with what everybody else in the country is doing so that we can be successful and have businesses that are thriving again. It's been extremely painful and to watch and also to be a part of. Yeah. So we're, we're, hoping, we're hoping we get some, some good word and also some further information moving forward. Yeah, and I would imagine, uh, like you said, for you, you guys employ a lot of people. And so for you, moving into the red tier is hard to do at a snap. So uh, how, do, how do things move forward here? Well, that's the whole thing about information. You know, they'll, they'll say, okay, tomorrow we're going to move to 25%. Well, we, ha we employ thousands of people, and it's not like you can deploy thousands of people and say, okay, we're starting tomorrow. There's planning to be done, and, and especially for a larger restaurant. But again, it all goes back to communication and really um, helping the businesses of San Diego to be successful again, because this is so bad on the economy and so bad on so many people that have put their life savings into this business. And we really need to have the officials behind us and to make some moves, some drastic moves, to get us back to business and get this, this city back to where it needs to be. Well, and like you said, at this restaurant at Ventana, I mean, you guys do have some outdoor seating, so I would imagine, you know, things will kind of continue on here, but looking forward to being able to offer both. Absolutely, absolutely. It's so, it's so cool when you go out in the dining room at night and talk to people, and they're, they're so excited. They're so excited to be out there. They say things like, I feel like I'm out of jail, and, they, and they're just having a good time and enjoying their family you know, in an atmosphere that they haven't been able to experience in a year. And we just want to keep that rolling and get ourselves back to some sense of normalcy. Yeah. yeah, Chef Deb Scott, so great to catch up with you, you obviously. As well, Allie. Um, anticipation, everybody waiting to get the word um, that perhaps moving into that less restrictive red tier that would uh, allow restaurants to offer some of that indoor dining. So there you have it, guys, from Costera. We'll send things back over to you. All Looking right. forward to enjoying Chef Deb's creations. Mm -hmm. What is it, the guacamole Always. that they make at the table? Yep. Yeah. Oh. All right, Margaret. The mole, the mussels, the margaritas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>